Children, children. Yes, Auntie! Welcome once again to my hut. Today, I will be telling you another interesting story about how the baboon bottom got swollen and red. This story is quite interesting and I am very sure we are all going to have a great time this evening. Once upon a time, in the animal kingdom, there lived a tortoise and a baboon. They were close friends and spent most of their time together. One day, as they were discussing, Baboon began to boast about how he would become king of all the animals one day. He continued bragging about how he was the only animal that looked like humans and should definitely be king of the animal kingdom. Young man, you cannot be king because lion is the most powerful animal and only him is and can be king. Is that all you can say? Let me tell you something. Humans have power over that so-called lion and I am obviously like humans, which automatically means I am also powerful. Tortoise felt threatened by this claim, not knowing what might happen if Baboon decided to start acting like humans. Although Tortoise was not a very powerful or strong animal, he was very, very wise and could be cunning at times. He then thought to himself and decided that something had to be done in order to avoid any chaos the baboon might start. Tortoise went home to prepare some akara, into which he added some fresh honey. When he was done, he put the akara in a basket and took it to the lion's house, where he placed it just outside his door and left to hide behind a tree. The akara was warm and its aroma hung in the air so that the lion soon came out to see where it was coming from. He picked one ball of akara and ate it. And this akara was sweeter than any akara he had ever eaten before. He ate another one, and then another one, until all the akara was finished. This is the best akara I've ever had. Who brought this akara? Was it brought here by a ghost? I demand an answer now. Your Highness, I think I know who brought the bowl of akara. I promise not to tell. But... But... But what? Speak up. It was the baboon that dropped that bowl. It's not even Akara, your highness. The baboon poured his faces into that bowl. I caught him myself doing it. But he asked me to keep it a secret. As soon as the lion heard this word, he rushed to the baboon's house and began begging him to give him some sweet feces. But the baboon was confused. He kept telling the lion he didn't know what he was talking about. But the lion refused to listen. The baboon was terrified and defecated on the spot, but it was not as sweet as the akara the lion had eaten. The lion became very angry and started beating the baboon on his bottom until he became swollen and red. Since then, the baboon has shelved his ambition to become king of all the animals. Children, this is the end of our story tonight. The lesson in this story are It is not good to brag too much. When someone gives you an information, always verify before acting on it. So, until next time, Bye bye. Bye bye.